purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find statutes in Westlaw. We will focus on finding statutes using the Law School tab and the directory. Let's first look at how to find statutes by citation. You can accomplish this by using the Find by Citation box located on the left side of the screen. Simply enter your statutory citation, click Go, and select your statute from the list provided. Generally, your statute will be the first one on the list. You can also use the Find and Print function located at the top of the screen to find a statute by citation. Now let's look at how to find statutes using the search box on the Law School tab. Before you can run a search, you must select a database or multiple databases from the statutes box. The databases are organized by jurisdiction. You can view all of the jurisdictions by clicking on Show All. Once you have selected a single or multiple jurisdictions, you can then run a search using terms and connectors or natural language. Let's try to find statutes pertaining to adverse possession. We enter in our terms, hit search, and a list of results will appear. We can further narrow this list of results by keywords using locate and result. You can also select a single database from the ones listed in the statutes box by selecting its database identifier. From there you can run a search by terms and connectors or natural language. Occasionally when you enter a specific statutory database, you'll be able to access several other features such as the table of contents, the statutes index, and the popular name table. You can also access these features from the Law School tab. Now let's use the directory to find statutes. There are several different options for finding statutes using the directory. The best ways for finding statutes are by jurisdiction or by topic. If you want to locate statutes by jurisdiction, you would select statutes under either U.S. Federal Materials or U.S. State Materials. To access the USCA, you would click on Statutes under Federal Materials. Generally, the database you should focus on is the one titled United States Code Annotated. To access state statutes, you would click on Statutes under State Materials, and a list of databases and folders would appear. The top databases will usually be combined databases containing statutes from all jurisdictions or states. If you would like to select a specific state, you should click on the folder titled Statutes Annotated Individual States and U.S. Jurisdictions. From there you can choose your state. In this instance we will pick Code of Georgia Annotated and that will bring us to our familiar search screen. The last way we will look at is finding statutes by topic. In the directory you would click on Topical Practice Areas, select a topic, in this instance let's try Family Law, and from there you would be able to drill down until you got to a jurisdiction specific database or combined database of family law statutes. Results will vary depending on your topic. Now that we know how to find statutes, let's review what one looks like. At the very top of the page you will find the citation for the statute along with the section number and the name. You will also find the sections function which allows you to move to the previous or next section of the code. After that you have the actual statutory section. Following the text of the statute you will find the credits which includes the history of the statute. History covers when the statute was passed and amended along with references to the public law and statutes at large citations for those amendments. Following the credits you will find historical references, cross-references to other statutes, law review commentaries on the statute, library and research references, and notes of decisions. Notes of decisions include summaries of cases that have explained or applied the statute. You can access those summaries by clicking on the numbers that are hyperlinked out beside the topics. At the end of the document, you'll find how current the statute is in Westlaw. On the left side of the screen, you'll find other useful information that might help you expand upon your research. History and citing references are both components of the key site function, which we will discuss more in depth at a later time. It should be noted that history will provide you a legislative history of the statute. 
while citing references includes cases and other sources that have affected the validity of the section. You can also access the table of contents for the statute and the previous versions of the statute. That is it for our overview of how to find statutes in Westlaw.